that's lived in Metro Detroit. And tonight, a former neighbor is remembering Barbara Bush in a special way. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmarini joins us live with her incredible story. Brianne? Well, Dave and Glenda, it was way back in 1945, well before George H.W. Bush was in the White House, that he was stationed here in Gross Eel at this naval base when it was active. And Barbara Bush wrote about her time here in Metro Detroit in her memoir and the people who made an impact on her. An excerpt from Barbara Bush's memoir reads, We moved to Dearborn and stayed with the dearest family, Joe and Grace Gargoni and their children. We stayed in touch all these years until Grace died in March 1993. She taught me some things my mother thought I should be able to pick up by reading. Things like how to cook, clean, and wash clothes. Joe and Grace Gargoni were the landlords for the Bushes and lived in Trenton for many years. At this home right here. Both have since passed away, but their neighbor, Susan Pilarski, still remembers the Gargonis and their relationship with the Bushes. Mrs. Bush would come over for lunch or just to pass the time of day. Pilarski was a child back then, and that was well before the Bushes' time in the White House. Years later, when George was on the campaign trail, at the invitation of the Gargonis, Pilarski met Mrs. Bush at a luncheon. It was something she says she'll never forget. I got to meet her. I got pictures with her, which unfortunately I can't find. She was, to me, the quintessential Southern charming lady. She says the Gargonis stayed in touch, just as Barbara wrote about in her memoir, but it wasn't something they bragged about. They didn't trade on the friendship or anything like that. It was, you know, the old school. They're your friend and only certain people need to know. When the Gargonis both passed away and their home was sold, Pilarski says she told the new owner about the home's distinction. I told her that Mrs. Bush had come to lunch there. She was amazed. Along with Pilarski, many of you around the metro area have fond memories of Barbara Bush, and we put out a call on social media. We received several pictures. When she passed, I thought, man, I was lucky enough to meet her. That in and of itself was extremely special. So from humble beginnings stationed here at this naval base to the White House, the Bushes remember their time here fondly. Live in Grossio, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. Wonderful remembrances indeed. Brianne, thank you.